Now, amidst the escalating tensions between the United States and China, White House has now asked all government agencies for details over China's global influence and business practices. Now, the Office of the Management and Budget has released a statement saying that the United States agencies need to submit data on federal funding that aids or supports China or that directly or indirectly counters China's unfair competition and also maligns activities and influence globally. The official statement clearly mentions about informing the policymakers, but it does not say anything about how the information will be used. At this point of time, we can only tell you that the sweeping budget data request will be used to make sure that all Washington funding will reflect strategic priorities while dealing with China. Beijing has completely denied all these accusations of engagement as unfair competitive practices. Meanwhile, the Trump administration is considering to add China's top chip maker, Semiconductor Manufacturing International Corporation, also known as the SMIC, to a trade blacklist. A Pentagon spokeswoman has said that the Defense Department was working with other agencies to discuss whether to make the move or not. Meanwhile, the SMIC has said that they have no relations with the Chinese military. If Washington blacklists trade with SMIC, then it would become difficult for the U.S. suppliers to seek a license before shipping to the company. Now, the Trump administration has increasingly put its focus on Chinese companies that bolster Beijing's military. The United States and China have hit a new low in their already strained relationship. Now, the disagreements stretch from a two-year-old trade war to the Trump administration ba blaming Beijing for a lack of transparency about the spread of COVID-19.